Okay, well, and, and that brings me to our next summer event. You know, aside from fireworks, we love to jump in the pool. So let's talk about that. I mean, uh, how do you go about, what happens if you are, you know, in a public pool and you get injured or maybe even at an apartment complex in their pool and you get injured or even your home pool? Can you sue the manufacturer? Well, that usually falls on the owner of the pool. Uh, oh. in, in Georgia, there's a, an absolute uh, requirement under the law that if you own a pool, it has to be properly fenced. If you're, I guess if you're in an apartment setting or a country club setting, you have to have lifeguards on duty and you have to be careful to watch over everybody that goes in there. Now, on the cases that we've had over the years, they usually involve private pools where someone has not fenced the pool, or if they had a fence, they let it fall into disrepair and a neighborhood child wandered into that pool. It comes under the general heading of an attractive nuisance. Children are drawn to pools, drawn to water, and they will go there. So you're supposed to fence them out. And that's your uh, duty under the law. If you fail in that duty, if you violate that duty, then you would be responsible for any injury or death caused. And, and generally speaking, most of the time when that happens, it is unfortunately and tragically the death of a small child, mm. uh, a neighbor, a neighbor or a friend or uh, somebody who just was uh, allowed a, a, a three-year-old to get out of the house and wander into the back. Now, if it is the owner of the house, the owner of the pool, of course, there's no liability as between family members. But if you have guests over and one of those children get out, then you may well be liable for the, for the injury or the death. Uh, of course, there's an offsetting proposition that uh, maybe the parents were contributorily negligent by not keeping an eye on the child. That's a, another matter. But why don't you handle some of these? Uh, what, what would your comment be? I, I agree with exactly what you said. If it's just because you have a pool and somebody gets injured in the pool that make the owner responsible is usually when someone that's unattended falls in the pool and drowns. And that's where oh. the problem comes. If you've got a pool, people can slip around the pool and hit their head, break their arm. That's not necessarily a liability issue, uh, but it's when the pool is, you know, nobody's on duty, nobody's watching, uh, and some child falls in. That's where you got some real issues. 